Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to EU4. This time we are going to be playing Morocco. It's Ramadan, so, well, let's play Muslim Nation. So, Morocco has a mission tree. A very good one, compared to most others. So, uh, has only three unique missions, still painful. So, uh, I was going to pick a Muslim nation that has a mission tree. Played Songhai, so I just didn't want to play in this region again. Could have meant for Adal and Ajuran, just didn't feel like it actually. Um, could have get, went for Timurids into the Mughals. Ah, uh, Great Horde, Golden Horde. Already had way too many, way too many playthroughs like that, so was not interested in that. So as I didn't play in this region for a while, well, excluding Granada, well, I decided, well, let's play Morocco. Has a better mission tree than Tunis, so yeah. Let's get ready. Set out to raid. Okay, England. Uh, not really much of a point, but let's rival you first, then Aragon, then Castile. So, let's, well, go with this one, just in case our subjects get any bad ideas. Um, what else could we do? Allying Tunis is one of those things. Temporarily, temporary, yes, but... They are still needed. Let's improve relations with these guys, just in case. If we can get an alliance with them, that would be amazing for us. And, well, let's start by building some spy network on Clemson, so we can speed run the war. And that's about it. Go here. Summon the diet. Okay, get religious states before I forget. And Ceuta is owned by. Hmm. I mean, it's not really necessary. Uh, it's already a core. Oh, this one is great. Ojda. I gain 50. That's uh, here. Yep, that's a good one. Nah, this one is. Perfect, because I'll burn through my admin so quickly, it is not going to be funny. What color will I go for? Uh, these ones are good, but let's be honest, I kinda do have to keep negative piety for those ones. Merchant, AE impact. Uh, let's go for, uh, actually, Manafi for now, then I can switch it later, because... I'm not so sure. I'm so sure. Oh god. I really didn't think this through. I was just going for a relaxing run. I was like, why the hell not? Let's record it. And well, here we are. If I. Sh okay. Let's go aggressive expansion impact. Yep, get this one. And do I get religious diplomats now or later? Huh. Get them now. It's better for me. Hello, give me this. What else can I do? So, you, as far as you are concerned, isn't really anything I want to give to you right now. You will go for yearly prestige. And you. Grant Demi -libert Liberties. Yes. Let's get ready for war. Let me look at my leader first. Oh, 021. So amazing traits. But <laughs> a shitty ruler nonetheless. God damn. Oh well. Could I. If I could ally the Ottomans, that would be amazing for me. Or at the very least, the Mamluks. Not of which are very interested in allying me. Let's get... No, I should speed the game up. Oh god, I need to stop raiding. So we can go up to there. Just 
just raid, get a lot of money. Hopefully, nobody has raided here. And... Good leader. So is I like to Togurt. Ah, uh, yeah, nah, there's nothing I can do with him. Just that... Oh my god, he's literally... Okay. Retake core, and that's it. So it will... Come on, and let's go. Get the ship. Sunk it. Why didn't you plunder anything? What were you thinking? Time, son. Okay. Well, he has a good leader. It is going to be a painful battle, but I will much rather take it. Well, this will... Make no mistake, this will invite these others. Crisis of the Maghreb. Yeah. I need to repair my ships. I still have a sizable fleet. This is all... yep. Yeah, raided. Ah, France is not. Not willing to risk it, not yet. If there is a chance that I can... oh yeah. So who exactly did our rival... Aragorn? Yep. Yeah, I did. Scornful insult. And Portugal. Ah, you really are not giving me much of a choice there. Let's go speed 5, because there's nothing else to do. I mean, look, if these guys could go to Daura somehow, I would love that. But sadly, that is not going to happen. Not easily, though. I really need the siege to be... I need, I need to win the siege of Talim San, so I can hopefully get all of these lands without Tunis getting anything. Okay, now let's just chill. Um, do I go for ship trade power, galley combat ability? Uh, it's not worth my money. Oh wait! Oh wait, I might actually get the fort. Perfect. Surrender of Maine. I should have. Well, no, he's not my rival, that's the issue. Hello. You want to talk? And reinforce. And let's wipe them. Oh, not really. Mm, stability. Sad reality is, stability is the best. So, this guy can go for a figwig, I need to go for Dara. An excellent idea. Money. Oh my god, he's already pissed off at me. Why must you make me suffer? Real. Okay. God. Good ruler. God, I'm confused now. So, perfect. Send you guys to Vehran. Okay, um, Sus. No, Marrakesh. And uh, Tafelalt, please seize these ones, because I am. I just want to get this fleet out of there. Yes, he arrived on time! 
The stack has arrived, the stack has arrived, and now his navy is gone. Please capture a ship, that would be amazing for me. No, of course not. Let's go here. Zob. Good. Meanwhile, claim the canaries. And I need what does it? Now this this mission, mission mission tree is good, but it has its issues. So, in all but name, Morocco has two dynasties. Since 20 years past, almost all power, power formerly held by the Marinid dynasty has in fact been wielded by their formidable vast Vatasid vizier Abu Zakaria Yahya. Insanely popular after his victory over the Portuguese in 1437 and his patronization of the Id Idrisid cult in Fez, Abu Zakaria Yahya has ensured that the royal bu bureaucracy is both well-functioning and imbued with Vatasid family members. As the Vatasids are related to the Marinid rulers, this is in itself perhaps not a worrying development. Now that Abu Zakaria lies on his deathbed, however, we cannot wonder what we cannot but wonder what the future will bring. The great man has seemingly left nothing to chance and has already arranged for his cousin to succeed him as vizier, but what remains unclear is what the Vatasid family will do in the future with the network Yahya has built for them. They're going to rebel. Trade expansion. You're allied to Tunis. Now what? I have the slots for it. Yep. Controversial, I know, but it's not the worst decision I can have. And let's get rid of the spy network, because, oh, I don't need it. I need to improve relations with him. Point is, having a subject is great. All is solved by the royal marriage. So, I'm on Dara Orsenius. And money. So, yeah. Cool. Give me your land. Why wait for claims when. Well, you can't really wait for those claims. It'll get forever. Now, by any chance... Oh, I have no diplomats to send... But send the boys to love... Oh... Please, we need to be faster than he is... Yes, something at least... <laughs> Boy, let's go. Go feed this to our brand new subject. Um, uh, six. Now, if only there was a way. Oh my God, he's allied to the man. Looks well. Bye, bye, Fazan. You're going to get vassalized. Well, that at least so solves that issue. And Granada is in a bit of a. Struggle. Imperial cities and need mosques. Huh. Oh dear god. I need in a mosque of mosques or having had uh, a B at 15 development. Well these provinces do tend to have I'm kind of wait uh, let's move these guys out hopefully. There will be no issue. I should have went for a northeast color. Fifteen legalism, that's great. I need legalism. 
punish everyone for taking piety as well. You like me. So I'll take it for myself. Now you... That's a possible alliance. There. Great. So let's take it like this. Take the money. And now go ahead and be like, yo, Togurt. Grand Province, Mazab, Grand Province, Lockhart. And... Tuffy Lult. I need to... Okay, I need to maintain relations with him. Because this can go very well for us. Now let's see. He's only allied to him. What are the odds of him joining this war? Oh god, so he has 10k, he has 37. Could we blitz this? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, you know what, let's find it out in the ne uh, next episode. Thank you all so much for watching and see you all next time. Bye bye.